From the bottom of the sea to the tops of the highest peaks, Academy scientists discovered more than 300 new species in the Philippines this past spring. During the six-week expedition, the largest in the Academy's history, scientists dove on the shallow coral reefs, sampled deep-sea animals from aboard a research vessel, and hiked up rainforest-clad mountains in an effort to document the country's amazing biodiversity. Some of the likely new species they found include a deep-sea shark that can inflate its stomach with water to bulk up and scare off predators, a sea star that feeds exclusively on sunken wood, a crab whose pincers are lined with needle-like teeth, an urchin the size of a pea, more than 50 colorful sea slugs which contain toxins in their bodies, and other new organisms such as soft corals, sea pens, worms, eels, and spike moss. Over the coming months, Academy scientists will be hard at work in their San Francisco laboratories, examining specimens under microscopes and sequencing DNA to confirm that they have in fact discovered new species. Their results will no doubt bolster the Philippines' status as one of the world's biodiversity hotspots, as well as a region where biodiversity is threatened by human activity. Fortunately, Academy scientists and their Filipino colleagues have already begun communicating results and providing conservation recommendations. With concrete recommendations regarding the locations of marine protected areas, sites for reforestation, and reduction of plastic waste, the Philippines can take steps to preserve its diverse natural wonders. If we make people aware of it, more often than not, they will begin to care about it. And when they care about it, that's when they want to do something to protect it.